Hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin, and this is the pen panel. We've taken a brief look at this thing before in the drawing series in Toon Boom Studio, but I wanted to have a separate video where we look at it exclusively and check out everything it can do. So the pen panel, it has minimum and maximum size for controlling your brush. Notice down here, it will expand on the maximum and minimum size so you can get a feel for what you're getting for. It scrolls up to 100, but if you punch in something higher, I believe it does work. Yes, look at that. Cool. Remember that pressure sensitivity does not work for the pencil. So whatever the maximum size is set to, that's what you're going to get. The smoothness slider will add or subtract vertices to your stroke to keep it more true to the way that you physically drew it at the risk of wobbliness if that makes sense. So here's a pencil stroke drawn at zero, and here's one drawn at 10. You can see when I let go that time that the line adjusted itself slightly to make it a bit more smoother. And now if I select it with the contour editor, you can see the difference. The stroke on the left has only put a point at every major kind of corner, whereas here, like, oh man, there is a whole ton of them. So it keeps it very close to how I drew it. It means the line is going to be a bit more wobblier and the overall file size will be a bit larger. So it's usually good to find a healthy in between, usually around three. Next, we have the presets. Up here, there's five pens already selected there. Notice when I select them with the brush, you can see a brush icon will appear. And if I do stuff with the eraser, uh, that will move around as well. What this means is the brush and the eraser can be set to two independent things at the same time. So I'm gonna choose this big one at the top for the brush and this small one down here for the eraser. And let's see if it does that automatically. So we get some thickish strokes there and we get thin strokes for the eraser. So that's good to know. Next is making your own custom brushes. There's five here to start. What if you wanna make something else? Notice the green plus button, that'll add a new one. To be able to customize it, if you double click it, it'll let you change its name. Just adjusting it here will change its preset, so it'll stay like that until you move these again. To change its shape, if you touch on this itself, you get these few options here. So these can be quite useful as well. So that's it. There's not really too much to say about the pen panel, uh, but make good use of it. It's a great feature. Any other questions, leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer them. Bye-bye.